Hi everyone and thank you for joining me for this video and this video today is going to be about me applying my foundation and how that I go about applying it. Now this is just actually one of the techniques that I use, one of them, and with the particular um, liquid foundation. Now there's different ways, sometimes this is basically my most of most of my everyday application and um, how I go about applying um, you know my liquid foundation now depending on there are a couple other brands that um, I might use a little bit different technique depending on the product itself and as I do my videos you'll you'll see what I mean by that um, but today I'm gonna keep everything drugstore brand so that way that it is affordable and it's something that um, you can try and the products that I'm using are products that work for me and in my opinion I think that they're good enough that for you to try as well and I don't want to recommend them um, if I don't think they'll work. So any things that you see in my video, um, in my opinion, I think that they're good. Um, so anyway, so let's go ahead with the video. And now my face, now as you can see, I have no makeup on. And I want you guys to see, and I'm just going to let you see all the little flaws that I can because I don't want to come across when you see me with makeup that, you know, like some people, they're always made up. Um, now my eyes are done. Um, but there is, actually I do have a breakout up here and there is some redness, and this is from the sun, but there is redness and I do have lots, I always tend to stay red, right around here. And I think that definitely is because of sun, even when I use the SPF. But I was actually out Memorial Day weekend, out in LA with the, um, visiting some old friends of ours and we're at their pool and I didn't have enough SPF right about that area and I got a little bit too much sun on my nose, which wasn't good, but it's not as bad as it could have been. So anyways, let's get on with the video. I've already applied my Skin Genesis um, Daily Moisturizer. It have an SPF 25 in it and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rimmel um, Fix Perfect um, Primer. It's about five dollars in the store. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply this and it looks like that. Um, you don't need too much of it. You don't want to apply it too thick because you don't want your, fa your face to look cakey um, which is something I've learned in the past that um, you don't want your face to have too much of it. Now Sometimes, now, now I do know that there, during the winter, I only apply it in this area and up here. I will not apply it, you know, all over. But it seems like during the summer, um, depending on the foundation, I will apply this stuff pretty evenly. Um, and especially if you live in a humid area. I live out here in California. You don't, I feel like some of the times I don't even need um, to put too much of it. But um, with a lot of your foundations you do need to wear a base um, a primer it is it's definitely holds that foundation down and is important okay now we're gonna just move right along here um, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal hip intensity um, foundation now this um, is in a honey number 806 I like this product a lot I like this one because it goes on very easy um, I'm satisfied um, during certain months of the year just just overall how that it's how, the, how I, when I apply it that it goes on and even sometimes um, in the summer during the hot months it gets a little dewy looking but not too bad. Now what I did was I just went ahead and applied some of it on my hand. Usually I will use a CD disc to apply it on there um, but for just for people who are beginners this seems to be something that's practical so I want to think of things that were practical with this. This is an elf brush, eyes, lips, face brush. Um, you can go to eyeslipsface.com and find this brush as the flat brush. Target does not sell this exact one that I know of yet. Um, they do sell some of the other e.l.f. products, but not this particular one. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front of the brush, and as you can see, I'm just dipping it lightly, and then I'm going to do this technique where I'm going to tap, 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 getting the product onto my face, and I'm what they call, this is called a stipple in motion. And then I'm going to swirl. Now, for every day, this is a very fast application. Very, very fast. Um, some people might would say, well, using my, fans, my hands is equally as fast. But this gives you a good overall even coverage um, because the brush is, goes right into all the little spots that it needs to go. Isn't it funny how we put on our makeup, how we open our mouths and the expressions that we make? <laughs> I think it's a little funny. Okay, so there we go. For that. We'll then come up here. 
get this top area and try to go into the hairline as well try to go up into the hairline up here and then sometimes if you don't have enough which sometimes can happen with me I might end up having to get a little bit more from the bottle if I run a little bit short um, I do that sometimes but it's okay okay I look a little funny there for a second okay so then what I do is as you can see I am darker now I think that the video washes me out quite a bit um, I'm actually if I look at myself in the mirror I'm actually not the color on the screen I'm actually darker than this but I blended my foundation to match the rest of my skin if you can see like right here um, I now I'm actually pretty tan um, and if you didn't, see, if you saw me in person, this foundation does match a lot better than it does up here. It just tends to make me look lighter, as most of you know who do videos. Sometimes that happens. Okay, now this would be a good time for you to go ahead, and if there's any places that are red or any extra imperfections, you can go ahead and conceal. Now, sometimes when I do put the foundation on, I will lightly go over top of these areas because I don't, where the lines are in my face, I don't want to, you know, um, make those lines more visible so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead there's a couple places whoops that's, that's probably a little bit too much but the little, couple areas on my plate my face my words are getting twisted up here it's not fair okay the areas on my face where okay that probably was too much um where you have those blemishes where it's red what you're going to do is spread out and I, I probably have put a little bit too much right there if you put too much no worries just go ahead and blend in and all that you're going to ever do when you do this is blend out. I don't have too many problems with the under eye dark circles. You know, thank God, um, you know, that's not too big of a concern. I know that some people have that problem really bad um, with all different cultures and races. It, it just seems to be an ongoing uh, problem for some people. But um, I'm definitely blessed I don't have to go through that one of those things. Um, but there's some other areas of some things that I'm, I'm going through right now. Um, which is a whole different video. I might do that in a vlog, actually. Um, okay, so that's done. Now, what you need to do is, and I'm sorry, this is the mineral, Maybelline Mineral Power Concealer, and this is definitely very nice. I recommend this, too. This is ranges about $7 to $8, I believe. Price is very dependent on where you live and dependent on the sale that you get. So look for those coupons that sometimes come out. Um, I know that Red Plum, the Weekly Flyer, sometimes they have coupons even for Maybelline products and things like that. And the brush they used for that was just a um, CVS brush that you can call S the Essence of Beauty. You can get it from CVS. These are great brushes. I'll do a video on brushes as well. Now this is a, um, a, a loose powder, which I am going to go ahead and apply for this particular foundation. To go ahead and to, um, you want to go ahead and make sure that you go ahead and do a, you know, do a loose powder to finish your face. Um, and this is the brand I like, the Palladio Rice Powder um, formula. And I like this one. I think it's a good finishing powder. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. What I do is I put a little bit inside of here. Whoops. That's a little bit more than, than a little bit. <laughs> so um, then I take a little bit, little bit of that. And I just, during the summer months, I don't put it all over my whole face, just in those areas. Now you can see it looks a little white. Okay. This one actually is a translucent. I take this little um, velour poof, um, I, don't, I forgot exactly what they call them, um, but that's what I call them anyways. And I roll it, I actually roll, roll it gently back and forth. When I talk, I like to combine words at the same time. You might, you might notice it in my videos. I'll take two words and actually create one word out of it. So anyways, um, I will gently roll this back and forth. And to give it more of an airbrushed, um, a flawless coverage, um, sometimes when I, if I have my eyebrows done already and I go ahead and do foundation, which is I usually do not do, um, you're going to smear it up there if you use any sort of products for your eyebrows. But usually I just try to stay in these two areas during the summer. I don't want to put it on my whole face because I don't want it cakey, especially during the winter. You don't want your face to look cakey. But that pretty much is it. These little guys you can get for like a dollar, two dollars at your local beauty stores. You can find them for cheap. Pick them up when you find them. And once again, um, this was a very simple look. And um, that's about it, guys. Um, all drugstore products and very simple um now all thing i have to do is just do my blush and do my lips and that is about it if you guys have any questions feel free to give me an email okay thank you and you guys have a wonderful and a blessed day bye